this month's Cubit Network's Not-for-Profit Spotlight. Today, I am very happy to be here with Jen Trowbridge, who's the CEO, and Jordan Stanfill, who's the Chief Housing Officer of Northwest Indiana Community Action. So thank you so much for being here. So I, I have to say, though, you are the first Chief Housing Officer <laughs> I've ever met. So this is, uh, this is pretty neat. So um, Jen and Jordan, tell us about Northwest Indiana Community Action. Sure. So our for purpose organization is geared for people experiencing financial hardship. They find resources, they find opportunities, uh, they also find respect when they need those services and supports. And our aim is to make sure that uh, people have just supports to navigate some of those financial um, experiences. So from utility bills to nutrition needs all the way to housing. Awesome. And so this is a uh, uh, this came about because uh, uh, we originally reached out to Housing Opportunity, mm -hmm. that is now merging with uh, Northwest Indiana uh, Community Action, thus the CHO uh, <laughs> position. So tell us a little bit about uh, the housing uh, chief housing officer, like what you're doing with with NICA. Is sure, it, NICA. NICA, yeah, yeah very right. good. All right. Yeah, so it was great timing and reaching out. So uh, you know, couldn't have worked out better, I think, to to have this conversation together with Jenna and I. Um, but you know, what we do in the housing space at NICA is uh, we do everything from street outreach to people uh, who are living outside um, through emergency shelter. So we operate an emergency shelter in uh, Valparaiso that serves Porter County residents, up to supportive housing, uh, which is for people who are exiting the homeless system and might have a disability. So we provide both housing and wraparound support services to keep them uh, stably housed long term. And then the last option we have is affordable housing uh, that's just like any other rental you'd find in the community. We just serve people at lower incomes with uh, rents that are well below market rate. Yeah, cool. And so your uh, formerly housing opportunities is now mm -hmm. part of NICA. Mm -hmm. And uh, you were, we were explaining before we started filming here how this is a really good you know, joining of the, of the forces. Uh, because you were looking to do more with housing and you were using a lot of their services mm -hmm. so coming together has been able to kind of round out your your offering for lack of a better word to uh, to your uh, the clientele right yeah yeah so NICA for many years has been managing what they call the housing choice voucher program mm -hmm. so there are people that just need help making ends meet to pay their rent and affordable mm -hmm. rent is becoming even harder to find right and so one of the programs that we've been managing helps more than 800 families wow. use these vouchers throughout Northwest Indiana. Um, they find their own landlords, they find their own place to rent, but we run, operate the program uh, to make sure the landlords get paid and mm -hmm. make sure people have a, a safe, comfortable place for them and their family. Right, yeah. awesome. Yeah, and what Housing Opportunities did as a standalone organization was develop, maintain, manage, and provide some services to uh, people in housing, uh, but we can't do it all. Uh, and you have to have housing alongside robust support services, whatever that may look like for uh, individuals uh, who, who we serve. And so it just made so much sense to combine forces with NICA uh, and be able to streamline services for people, more like a one-stop shop for uh, any need for the clients we serve, um, and then be able to do that uh, in hopefully more communities as we uh, learn and grow. Right, because you operate throughout Northwest Indiana, you know, five, six, seven counties. Yeah. Right? Historically, Housing Opportunities operated in two. Yep. Right, so there's some, some opportunity here for, for both of you to scale, so it's, it's so awesome. So I just appreciate all you that you do. This is, this is my backyard. This is the <laughs> community that I live in. And so to see organizations uh, working hard to help um, people kind of feel a little more, uh, I think is is great. Uh, uh, it really is. So if people wanted to help, uh, what's the best way to do that? There's several different ways into an organization like ours in order for people to give, whether it's um, their time. And there's a lot of programs that we have that um, there's not always enough funds to cover all the needed work uh -huh. uh, that's uh, that it, those encompass. And so, you know, if people are able to give their time and they're able to volunteer, that is a big win for us. And right. And so we have several programs for that too, uh, but also some of the programs that we have, there's just not enough money behind them. Mm -hmm. And really dollars can go a big way in helping people find a stable place to live. And uh, I think Jordan has seen that year over year. Right. 
Yeah, and I think alongside that, you know, uh, education and advocacy is a big part of what we do. And mm -hmm. so reach out to us, uh, come in for a tour, see um, the type of work we do, um, see the space we do it in, and then uh, learn how you can uh, help spread the word of the need for affordable housing and services that we provide going forward. Okay. And where would people go to find more information? On a website or Facebook or all the above? Of course, you have okay. to be all of the <laughs> sure. above, don't right. you? Yes. Uh, so yes. definitely on social media, there's a Facebook for NICA. Uh, okay. There's also a website. It's www.nwi-ca.org. Okay. Okay. Uh, people can go there as well. Um, and um, on LinkedIn, too. Okay, awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for all that you do. Um, uh, I've said this before on this, that this, is, uh, this tends to be the highlight of my job. Um, is to get to, uh, to spend time with people who are, who are actively out there trying to do good for uh, our communities uh, on a daily basis. So I appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks everybody for watching.